What is up, YouTube? Spectacular Spider Grapper coming back at you with his top 10 books of the week. Actually, last week. Um, that's right, it's Monday night again, and I'm about to run through, uh, you know, my favorites of the week. We didn't have Blast of a Stash at this past Saturday. We were taking a little hiatus, so, um, uh, yeah. Um, I haven't been really active on a lot of people's videos lately. Work has been fucking hectic for me. Um, my my shifts uh, switch. One day I'm working in the morning. One day I'm working at night. I have to get up in the morning, and it's it's just crazy at work right now. Um, but I do have. Uh, Friday and Saturday off. Saturday I got a little mini con to go to uh, Hampton Roads uh, Comic Con or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, so I'm looking for those. I'm looking forward to those two days off. Um, and of course, Blast or Stash It. We will be having a show this Saturday. So I just haven't had time. But I compiled my top ten and uh, let's get right into it. Starting off with the cover of the week goes to uh, Dark Knight's Metal. Um, this Deathstroke with uh, the Batman who laughs or whatever his name is on the reflection of his sword. I thought this uh, this was pretty cool. Earned my cover of the week. Not a lot of books this week, so uh, bear with me, guys. And speaking of Dark Knight's Metal number three, um, this also gets my worst pick of the week because I don't have a fucking clue what's going on in this. I I just don't get it. I I'm gonna keep picking it up. I just I don't know, something about it. it's not clicking in my head. Um, this is a Superman-centered story in issue three, so I don't know. I'm just not picking it up, like, I guess, like I should be. Am I the only one? I don't I don't know. I'm just not feeling the metal. I love, absolutely love the tie-ins. But, um, so let's move uh, right along. So metal, number three. Dark Knight's Metal, number three. It's my worst pick of the week, plus my cover of the week. Um, let's see what we got here. Uh, number ten goes out to um, Wildstorm's Michael Cray. So, obviously, Michael Cray is a Wildstorm character. Um, he's in the, um, the Wildstorm book that's out now. And it's a pretty decent story. You know, he's a spy. He's an assassin. Uh, just, uh... Pretty interesting stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep picking it up and um see where it goes. Just it's been a while since I read it. Pretty violent book, pretty violent, kinda like the Punisher, but um and uh if you didn't know he's um hunting or going after the green arrow, so pretty cool stuff. Uh, pick it up, Michael Cray, number one, gets my tenth pick of the week. Ninth pick of the week, Ragman number one. Um, the story is kind of so-so in this book. Uh, it's okay. Um, nothing spectacular. But what was really great, what did it for me in, in this book, was the art. And something about the, how Ragman was drawn kind of reminded me of Spawn a little bit. Uh, where are we at? Right here. Right there. So, uh, I liked it. I'm gonna keep picking it up. Uh, who's the artist on this? I don't know. I don't really. I remember back in the day when they used to put the artists and everything in front. Artist Inaki Miranda. Got it. Here's some more art. The end. Just the new Ragman really, really uh reminds me of Spawn, and that's a, not a, necessarily a bad thing. So, ninth pick of the week, Ragman number one. Uh, next we get uh, eighth pick of the week goes to Amazing Spider-Man seven eighty nine. Back to the normal numbering, and this is the fall of Peter Parker. One thing. I did not know was that Peter Parker is uh, stooking uh, Mockingbird. 
That's right. They're dating. They're a couple. Um, they team up, take on the Griffin. Uh, pretty good. Spider-Man's getting back to basics. So, uh, eighth pick of the week, Amazing Spider-Man 789. Uh, Peter Parker and Mockingbird are a couple. I did not know that. Uh, six, no, seventh pick of the week goes to Detective Comics 966. Six, um, pretty awesome black and red. Batman cover there. This one. Um, oh, I forgot what happened in this one. This is, I think this is one of the first books I actually read. Oh yeah, it's um, Nightwing Batman and Robin team up run into Superman. Um, truth be told, I'll be glad when this little storyline with uh, Nightwing Batman is over. Um, still a good read. Seventh pick of the week, Detective Comics 966. Um, sixth pick of the week goes to Action Comics 989. Lenticular done right. Fuck you, Marvel. Um, this one we get more of a super, super, Superman's father. Uh, Superman makes an appearance at the Daily Bugle while hell's breaking loose on Earth, and um, there's a terrorist terrorist attack on the Daily Bugle. Superman's dad shows up. And at the end of this one, we get Superman's dad trying to recruit uh, Superman's son, you know, his grandson. So, <clears throat> I'm curious to see where it's going to go. As always, um, action gets my sixth pick of the week. Lenticular! All that light. Anyway, fucking quit playing with your toys, Grandpa. Fifth pick of the week. All new Wolverine, number 25. We get a, a Dakin, Dakin, or however you would like to say it, and Laura team up in this. Um, they're uh, actually investigating. Dakin um, actually gets his arm torn off by the Orphans of X. Right there. And curious to see who these Orphans of X are. Um, Gabby, uh, really wants a new nickname. She don't want to be called Gabby anymore. She wants a superhero name for, her. so for that, she actually gets my, uh, Mary Jane Award for this week. Um, spoiler alert, I'm going to go ahead and spoil it. Really super bending. Um, she finds her mom. Laura finds her mom, who is still alive, so. Pretty cool stuff. All new Wolverine 25 gets my fifth pick of the week. Uh, fourth pick of the week goes actually goes to um, from Titan Comics uh, issue number or um, Fighting American issue number one. This is great stuff. Um, basically, we get Jack Kirby's uh, Fighting American. Um, is uh, time displaced in in present day and kind of like the Red Sonia book who, where she was time displaced in our world. This is the same thing, and the art is horrible in this book, but the dialogue is great because they're still using 1930s, 1940s, and people around them are like, "What the fuck? What the fuck are you talking about?" But this is actually pretty fucking good. Um, so, Fighting American, uh, fourth pick of the week, right there. This is a Terry Dodson cover. Okay, third pick of the week goes to Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows. Um, taking on the, the Sentinel Green Goblin. He, I'm not making that shit up. Um, let me find a good picture of this opening page. Right there. Um... Mary Jane loses her symbi symbiote. Uh, 
team up with the X-Men, all kinds of great stuff. What I really like um, in this book is at the very end, after it's all said and done, we're actually flash-forwarding how many years? Six years into the future for the next book? Yeah, get to the end. I don't know, but um, now uh, Spiderling is a teenager, and that's the next issue. So it's pretty cool to see how this turns out. I've been loving every issue all the way up to 12 here. And uh, third pick of the week goes to Amazing Spider-Man, Renew Your Vowels, number 12. So I picked this one up, had no clue. It's based on the DC collectible statues. It's Gotham City Garage, number one. Gets my second pick of the week. Um, really great stuff. Of course, this is an Elseworlds title. Um, there's only one city remaining on Earth, and Batman, and I believe Lex Luthor. Uh, I can't remember. I know Batman's uh, evil, and yeah, Lex Luthor. Um, all kinds of great stuff in here. Um, then we get uh, the girls from the Gotham City Garage in here. Who are they? Silver Banshee, Big Barda, Harley Quinn, and Catwoman. Um, I just absolutely love this post-apocalyptic world they're, they're creating here. Um, yeah, so... At the end of this, uh, Batman actually kills uh, Commissioner Gordon, snaps his neck. Just great stuff. Gotham City Garage, number one, second pick of the week. Almost was my pick of the week until I read the top pick of the week, which goes to X-Men Blue, number 13, right there. So the X-Men are broken off into teams. They're in Mojo World. Longshot makes an appearance in this book. Haven't seen Longshot in a while. And Bloodstorm seems to die. Is she really dead? We don't know. Um, here's Longshot. Right there, making an appearance. I, I just absolutely love Mojo, and I think the story's pretty good. And next issue... They will be fighting Magneto, I think. Right there. In Mojo World. I just love this this year. X-Men Blue 13 gets my pick of the week. So that is it, guys. That is my 10 books for this week. Um, X-Men Blue number 13. Pick of the week right there. Worst pick of the week goes to Metal. Cover of the week goes to Metal. And my Mary Jane Award goes to Gabby. Leave in the comments below, um, if you're still watching, leave in the comments what you think, um, if you're reading all New Wolverine and know who Gabby is, what you, what, what should her codename be, what should her superhero name be, I'd be interested to see some of your guys' answers. Um, if I had to pick a superhero name for Gabby, I don't know. I'll get back to you on that. Maybe on the live show I'll have a name for uh, Gabby. So, Blast of the Stash at this Saturday. I got a con this Saturday. Um, not looking for anything special. It's the first time in a long time they, they're having a second con in my area. So, looking forward to that, seeing what, how, it all, uh, how it all turns out. But I got to go. I am tired. Thank you all for watching. Thank you y'all for putting up with this top 10 list every week i know some of you like it some of you don't i love you guys anyway seeking Earman comics thanks again for the all the pops man you really didn't have to but thank you again um be kind of one another